Hello everyone, and welcome back to our reaction for Ruby Ice Queen Dem. <laughs> Ice Queen, you Queen. We, we all Queen. Squeen. Freaking animators cream their pants when they're told like, "Oh God, we're not getting paid." Um, <laughs> not the good cream either. Anyway, uh, yes, in the last episode of Ice Queendom objectively the worst episode of the show thus well, far definitely easily the worst animated but yeah like i don't know the substance itself was pretty garbage not great too, because not most great of it, not great yeah that was a lot of trash in that episode blake and weiss make a plan that makes no sense right they implement said plan and then that plan leads to about 15 minutes of this garbage back and forth between her. And actually, like 10 minutes of back and forth between her and Weiss. Yeah. Well, everyone it's, else just kind of does nothing. It's not so much that they made a plan that doesn't make sense. It's that they spent like 10 minutes of the episode justifying the plan that d didn't make sense. Yeah. It, it's like they just wasted all of that time being like, oh, look at this plan. And it's like, this, that's, that, that's garbage. Shut up, everyone. <laughs> Like, if they never addressed it, I would have been like, it's a dream. They can do whatever they want. But they, like, robbed me of my ability to hand wave their own lazy writing. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys didn't know this, like, the it, the animation, though, they released some of the keyframes that uh -huh. were supposed to be in the episode. And so, like, I thought it was jarring when Weiss did that jump thing that I made the meme out of, where uh -huh. she, like, like, in literally the frame before that... It was her and Blake were locked in a sword fight. And then it cuts to just Weiss standing in the middle of the screen at a decently distant shot with nothing around her except herself and the background. Then she jumps in the air and then, like, you know, flies does, to the moon. Does her. <laughs> yeah. If you there's a someone released the keyframes for that uh, that scene. And it was supposed to be that when she was knocked back. By no, not even that, like she actually sprung out of a sword lock with Blake into the sky, kicked forward off the glyph like we saw her do, fall onto another glyph and then jump out the way. And if you actually listen closely to the scene that we actually got in the anime, the sound effect for her landing and skipping off the second glyph is actually still there in the sound design. Oh yeah, uh, there was another thing like with um, uh, uh, Yang, where you can hear her talking, but her mouth isn't moving. It's the scene where she's on the motorcycle. Oh yeah, yeah. It's where like, I, I, in the reaction I said she was a master ventriloquist. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, it, that whole episode was. Don't worry, guys. Insane. They'll fix it for the Blu-ray. Yeah, that was an in, that led to an entire shitstorm with Ooh. Cal because Cal just went off on Twitter just being like. Guys, we gotta stop letting them get away with this Blu-ray mm. shit. Oh, Chris, it, it, I her saying that as well. It kind of woke me up because, like, I'm, I, 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 I never really fell into that mentality because I usually pick up a lot of shows very late after the Blu-ray release is yeah. already readily accessible on perfectly legal streaming sites. Yeah. Um. Be, but like, it is one of those things that, like, I, I've. I guess now I'm just now noticing because of Ice Queendom. This is a really rough anime right now. Even if they were to fix it in Blu-ray, I wonder how much it would fix. I don't know. Uh, I, I, guess you, I guess you can spend yeah. a lot of time polishing it up, but it's not going to be very good otherwise. Yeah. I, I don't... Like, I don't know. I mean, when they tried to fix um, the fight with... Uh, uh, the, you know, at the end of... The, uh, volume five, you know, volume five, part two coming soon. <laughs> but um, <laughs> when they tried to fix that fight, they made it worse. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, and uh, I, I should probably get this out there because people were asking on the, the channel and I was trying to give them answers in the comments. But, you know, I can't answer everyone because I have a lot of things on my hand. Uh, the reason why there's no episode nine reaction is that Fat Man is literally in a duel with fate right now. <laughs> yeah. um, and, and, and Charter. Yeah. yeah. Charter is kicking my ass right now um so i i put a i put a post on um you you can take a screenshot of my post that i put in um you know accumulation and like put it in front of the episode uh but like yeah no i had a, like computer problems 
And then my internet got cut by Charter, and I have tr- been trying to get it turned back on, but they won't let me because, like, I'm not the primary user on the account, so I can't make changes to it. But there is no primary user on the account because they refuse to make me the primary user. Uh, so there's a there's a bit of a rigmarole going on. Um, so they acknowledge that there is no prime. One of the people you talked to said there is no primary user on this account. Yes. And you said, so how do the, we did, did you ask, yeah. how do we get a primary user? They said the primary user has to list a new primary user. But there's no primary user. <laughs> yeah. And then when I say, OK, how do I get listed as the primary user? They just kind of go into a like a, a death spiral. <laughs> okay then, then you start asking how do i cancel my subscription you need to be the primary user to do that that's the first thing i tried to do so then who's getting tr- billed i tried to me and they won't let me pay <laughs> 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 that's why the internet got shut down <laughs> they won't accept my payment because i'm not the primary user Jesus. and they won't let me cancel because i'm not the primary user but there's no primary <laughs> user <laughs> And they won't let me get a new account because that was like this, the first thing I tried is, okay, just completely cancel this account. Completely cancel the account at my address. And they were like, we can't do that. And I'm like, okay, start a new account at my address. And they're like, but there's already service at that address. So we can't put a second <laughs> account in. <laughs> and I'm just like, this, no. This is literally the personification of if you're, if you're not the primary user, and you're not the primary user, then who's flying, <laughs> who's flying the plane? The plane? <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is. By the way, if I'm back here, and you're back here, who the hell is driving this car? Uh, yeah, I just, we just need to go to a cliff. And, and last night, no- so... On, on Friday, I was on the, the call with someone probably for four hours not counting on hold time so probably total six hours uh then when i called back on saturday i got to a new person uh who who said oh that person who you were talking to yesterday isn't in the right department to uh reconnect your service let me connect you to the proper department and they connected me to the same person that I was talking to yesterday. Oh, no. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm ever going to get internet back at my house. But right now, um, my neighbors oh so generously let me um, snake some of their Wi-Fi. <laughs> do, do you think you could like, take an axe to one of Charter's boxes that they might start taking notice? I, I don't know. Like, th- th- some extreme yeah. action might be necessary here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and I'm gonna cut the ca- the actual cable and then get a charter person out here to fix it and then I will kidnap them and hold them hostage <laughs> until they reconnect my service. Or alternatively, <laughs> maybe maybe just lawyer up. That might that might just be the go go to uh, situation that's, here. Yeah, uh, that, uh, that's another thing. Um, there's a company uh, not to not to derail us before the reaction starts, but like I moved across the country just recently, which is why I'm dealing with, like, fucking getting my internet set up at this new address. Uh Uh, There was a company called Pods who um, uh, lied to me, said, oh, yeah, no, we delivered to Vermont. They don't deliver to Vermont. That was a lie. So we paid them, like, $1,600 as, like, a deposit to get our move set up. And then they told us after they already had our stuff that they don't deliver to Vermont. And it took me... Uh, two and a half months of like customer service back and forth. Um, first stage, they wouldn't do anything about it. And then I posted a one star review saying that they, you know, scammed me and committed fraud. Uh, and then I got an email from their customer service team. And then they gave me the runaround for like another like four or five weeks before I said I was uh, going to contact my lawyer. And then they sent me up another level of customer service who, after another, like, two weeks, eventually gave me my fucking refund. So, yeah. Uh, if customer service isn't speaking your language, uh, post a public one-star review, um, you know, saying and that then the company has up. done something <laughs> illegal. And if yeah. that doesn't work, then just say, okay, uh, next next email is from my lawyer. <laughs> yeah, at that point. <laughs> 
at that point, yeah. Oh, God. Like, well, to, to, so to end it on a quick, on a, a funny, to just talk about, like, just to palate cleanse that leading into the, review, the reaction. <laughs> Teaching eighth graders is an interesting experience. Uh, so I, I love my eighth graders. I had them as seventh graders last year, and now they're my homeroom class, and they're they're one of my favorite classes. Like they're just they're great kids. Nice. But some of them are are so cursed. <laughs> they're like and like there's a, there's one kid, Colin. That's not his actual name, but I'm just using a pseudonym because he's a minor, and I'm not gonna air mm -hmm. name on the internet. But there, this is one yeah, that's yeah. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> no, exactly. So Colin, I didn't even say that charter employee's name on the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so, so Colin I get him totally a, outed. Franklin Joseph went. <laughs> it's just like because, <laughs> uh, like, it would be really rude to name Joseph yeah. <laughs> Franklin Joseph Quent. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Colin, as I'll call him, is a really interesting specimen of a kid because one minute he'll be quoting like Office memes, and the next moment he'll be going like, "Okay, so these are the exact ingredients you need to make mustard gas." <laughs> <laughs> and there is like no in between. <laughs> uh, sounds yeah. like me when I was in middle school. <laughs> um, hmm. How long has Office been off the air? How long? Oh, are oh, oh it, it, it does. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The Office lives on with these kids. Yeah. <laughs> but, but but this kid, this kid literally made some kind of concoction in a water bottle. I don't even know everything that went into it. I know hand sanitizer played a part. Because we have like 20 balls of hand sanitizer in the classroom. Oh, God. But they're, they're like little bits and pieces, and he, it, it looks like it could be radioactive. Jesus. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Um, that's uh, quite the story. <laughs> yeah, and as I was cleaning up the home, he had the, the water bottle op next to the open window, which he at least had the, the decency to leave the window open. <laughs> but, um, but next to it was a sign saying mustard gas in progress do not touch and I'm like I am hiding this sign because if my <laughs> boss aka the principal happens to walk through here and see that sign three things are gonna happen <laughs> one it gets out th gets thrown out the window two they get thrown into detention and me I get thrown out the door uh, yeah, no, I, uh, I don't know. Detention for making mustard gas is a, <laughs> a bit of a light sentence. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, that's like expulsion. Oh, no, they would just, <laughs> no, they, yeah, no, that, I, I think, well, I think I would just kind of take the rap for it, being the teacher, but, oh my god. He's a <laughs> great kid, though, really funny kid. But, oh. <laughs> well, speaking of other things that are chemical-grade <laughs> weaponry, um, back to Ruby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The penultimate episode. Let's see how l little money they spent on animating yeah. this one. I, I saw a few spoilers for this. Actually, I saw a spoiler yesterday before it even came out. There was a preview for the episode. So oh, I'm intrigued. Insane. We'll see. All right. Here we go. Here we go. You guys load right. it up? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Ah, see, we've walked right back into Attack on Titan. Next one. <laughs> but what if I, it was perfect? Luigi's Mansion, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's the music. That's what makes me think of AOT. Because Attack on Titan had some legendary music. Oh, Big Mechalus, what would we do without you? Are you still driving on the wall, Yang? I mean, I guess I would too. It'd be kind of fun. Oh, whoa, this yeah. is still kind of rough. Yep. God, everything with Yang last episode was garbage. Yeah. I don't know, try punching it. <laughs> <laughs> Just those noises. Uh, uh, eh, uh. It sounds like a video oh. game uh, sound effect. Jean, please, oh, for fuck's Lord. sake. <laughs> hey, you won! <laughs> yeah. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your leg's off! <laughs> no, it isn't. Then what's that, then? I've had worse, you liar! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> you, I don't know. You're one to talk? You're, yeah, why? Like, hello, what bot. Have you met Kettle? You guys are like five feet from each other. I thought you were farther apart. What the? F <laughs> They're farther apart in the close-ups than they are. <laughs> I am gonna be so curious to hear how Aaron does this version of Blake. <laughs> Answer me this one question, Weiss. Do you love black people? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> You are colloquially no was known as a little bitch. <laughs> Does judgment translate differently in Japanese? I don't know. It's not They say not... that a lot. It's like the fucking word of the day calendar. The secret word is judgment. Music still slaps. Yeah. I mean, I don't really know what... I, I, I'm still impressed. Like, the <laughs> the editing for this opening is literally just using footage from the first three episodes and are like, eh, <laughs> fuck it, we'll make it work. And they did. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> Can you this make seems... a... <laughs> an anime OP for free. <laughs> this OP is better than the show it is. <laughs> show it's for. Yeah. Uh. But I guess that that's par for the course of Ruby at this point. Yeah. OP more like O oh, piss. OP more like O oh, please. <laughs> more and more, I get the feeling that like. The opening three episodes were just made on a different day. <laughs> like, like if, if it makes any sense, like they were made in a different time period than the rest of the show. Yeah, they, they they each got their own day, and then the rest of the episodes were made in one day. Something like that, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, the final boss: a dress with vines. Biolante. <laughs> oh no, because you're not using the blade. What? Are you actually making this an important plot point? I mean, they, I mean, they keep <laughs> they keep bringing it up, so I assume it has to have some kind of a plot point to it. There's no, but a I'm reason you Why are they backwards. making that the the reason? Oh, that's so weird. Wait. What? Now you. What? What do you do? It oh. blew away some from some faunus? <laughs> oh, we finally got it! All right! Oh, okay. All right, there we go. Okay, the, that was a... The fist bump from hell. <laughs> okay, that was a, that was actually a decently animated. Oh, and then there's the kill a kill shot. What yeah, the Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm suddenly Holy a trigger shit. anime. Holy <laughs> uh, hey, shit! you know, I, I knew that? they were gonna have a shot like that. They, 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 they had to. I, I, this is very Bayonetta. I, yeah. But there was some weirdness there too. Like her, like she didn't land back on her bike. She was just back on her bike. No, she kind of did land back on it. I think, I, I think. Did they? Did she just oh. write into Weiss's memories, I guess? Yes. I mean, Wait, so, what, so Weiss, actually, Weiss actually knew her grandfather. Yeah. I don't think that's... canon. I don't... I mean, Ooh. not that anything is canon, but I think if you watch the... Um, the World of Remnant? Yeah. The, yeah, the World of Remnant. I... I don't, I don't know. I think they... I think they implied that... Uh, Big Nicholas died before uh, Weiss and, and Winter were born. Because, like, 
Big Nicholas would have seen what Jacques has done to the company if he was alive while he was yeah. taking yeah, it cause, over. Because it would be uh, what, like a, a, a ten year difference at most between now yeah. and the present. So, and also it would also kind of disrupt Weiss's like inclusive nature. Like like we're, she's burdened by Jacques, but like if she had this support from from like a father figure like him. I feel like she'd be a different character than we ultimately end up seeing. Yeah. yeah, I I mean that might be like something she made up, but um, I, or <laughs> it might just be that you know nothing is canon in Ruby. <laughs> Does she just Kylo rend herself into like like having a, a positive male role model in her life, just like. <laughs> like <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Weiss is Kylo Ren confirmed. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. I see how it is. Weiss and Weiss and Pira helped John hold his sword. Uh, the yeah. So is Weiss not gonna remember her dad? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would be pretty cool. Damn it, John! Stop being. That should have been me. <laughs> <laughs> I need the lowly swarm. <laughs> Don't put it that way. <laughs> Stop saying judgment. It's weird. <laughs> Break it. Take a shot every time they say judgment. <laughs> I would be dead before the 15 minute mark. Uh, yeah. You just need to build up your tolerance. What, what was that angle? I don't what? know. Behold, Ruby's feet at a, 40, at a 47 <laughs> degree tilt. <laughs> uh. Oh, whoa, Jesus Christ. The fuck? Fuck your shadow. Oh, that didn't work. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> we made that joke in the last episode, too. <laughs> I know, but like... It's it's a good joke. Wait, oh! wait, wait, what? 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 She can you... de What? No! No! You gotta be fucking kidding me! That's a better silver eyes than fucking Pyra dying. And it canonically <laughs> takes place before she even knew she could do silver eyes. Oh, she's not gonna remember or something. Oh, god like, damn it. Because she's gonna fall into her own dream, and, like, something's gonna happen in there where they kill, like, her eyes or something. And she's <laughs> 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 okay, so Okay Oh god She got a tricheotomy there <laughs> No Yelling Get at yelling at the six. I want to be an accountant Stop <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so my bet from last week was correct Early episode They, they defeat the nightmare In Weiss I did it, guys! <laughs> <laughs> All <Meanwhile>, by myself! <laughs> meanwhile, with Blake. <laughs> Who? <laughs> oh. We just. Man, Ruby's really <laughs> enjoying that new VR game. <laughs> Resident Evil 4 VR? I understand. <laughs> Hey, she's Daenerys Targaryen. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, yes, the perfect family. My wife and the three <laughs> smaller versions of the girl I wanted to date. <laughs> Is that another Ava reference? <laughs> Possibly? <laughs> Oh, 
Six, you knew your grandfather. Unless she was just pretending. Uh, the, what? N no. I'll be your wife. We just met. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, most people who I just met wouldn't go through all this trouble to save me. But still, how do you know <laughs> we're compatible I, at all? I mean, I mean, I know I wouldn't go through this trouble to save you. <laughs> Say doobie? <laughs> doobie doobie doo. Uh, a better outfit than you've worn for the last like six volumes. Yeah, I mean, you could take it off. <laughs> I'm sure Ruby wouldn't complain about that. <laughs> what is with your yeah. eye? What, what, why is your eye folding in on itself like it's at a different angle than it's supposed to be? <laughs> I don't know. Uh. Oh, all we have to do is stab her. Got it. Shit. She's into this. <laughs> Dude, you got plenty of aura left. Look at that. Yeah, there's a lot of flowers left in that face. Time to murder some minorities, guys. <laughs> yeah, and Weiss is like, this went from my nightmare to my dream. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, there are some weird implications with this fucking show. Okay, uh, there. I can't tell if this is good animation or bad. It's better than the last. Oh, it's absolutely better. Stab her. Stab her, stab her, stab her, stab her, stab her, stab her. <laughs> Oh, bumblebee uh, moment. There, we got it. Are you happy now, shippers? <laughs> <laughs> no, if they don't kiss, it doesn't count. <laughs> so wait, is Nightmare Blake just gonna stand there and... You, say, you mean stand around while Ye everyone tries to attack? Like, yes, that's exactly what Ruby does. We're gonna defeat it with the power of friendship and these guns we found. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's lowly army is multiplying. <laughs> I did not call final battle with evil Blake. Um, y yeah. It's, I'm, I'm okay with it. I uh, guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the they animation... have to defeat the power of. Okay. So yeah, the rights. animation. The animation's doing pretty well. Capitalism. Now. The anime. <laughs> I, I don't so, know. <laughs> it, it, it's too busy, like the last time. It's very... Like, yeah. It's over-animated. But at the same I, time, it's leads better than last time. But, I mean, I'd say this is even better than the trash in episode one. Like... Oh. Wow. That, that's like... Yeah, that that's it's busy. Uh, 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 I I agree. I agree. It's busy, but like that looked significantly better than even like the episode one, two, and three shit that people were praising. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, that's I, honestly probably yeah, the best I, looking stuff we got in this show. Honestly, I really liked that. Yeah, that was good. Hey guys! Oh my God! It's Team Ruby acting <laughs> as a team. Oh, this this is a novel, this they said never this day would never come. Before. I, I've never seen that in Ruby before. It's novel. <laughs> uh, admittedly, half of that was literally just characters stabbing at the screen, so they lose points. Uh, what? Uh, oh, and and okay, and then that happens. And then <laughs> that happens. <laughs> Wait, is her gun automatic? What? Who's? Ruby's. Well, now it oh. is. Well. And she undoes it again. Holy <laughs> shit! Those went away fast. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wait, shit, my aura's out. They're trapped in there. 
<laughs> yeah, then just gotta <laughs> chill in the dream till I recharge. <laughs> uh. I mean, maybe, maybe just. Oh, hey, back to Snake Way. Back to. Oh, now this the... is like, this is like old Ruby music. <laughs> no! <laughs> They're not real, John. <laughs> Like, they were you, you How do you fuck? not tell? <laughs> Does she really not realize that they're in her head? I, I mean, I think she thinks she's in Blake's head. I can see that. Oh. What the fuck? I, I, I actually like this shot. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a classic anime. I am yeah. just... I am disturbed, Sod. Yeah, yeah, but I just compared to the other animation in this show, that was actually a pretty well done, good one. What the fuck are you talking about? Literally, the whole school knows Weiss. It was on the front of the first page paper. What the fuck? This is what? No, wait, Shion's out of aura. No, they just die. <laughs> Behold our PS2 special effects. <laughs> Wait, wasn't she blindfolded earlier? I think they'd come off. Like... Yeah. They might have only been blindfolded to keep them in the dream? Yo, what's up? And then they all start clapping. Congratulations! Oh, not again. Now, what's the last episode going to be? Oh. An entire retelling that? of Volume 2 in one go. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, uh, what are they going to eh? do for the last episode? I, I, I am... I'm indifferent on that episode. I, I... Oh, actually, wait, is there more at the end? Meanwhile, at Beacon. <laughs> oh my god! Weiss, come on! Get over it. Oh, Team Cardinal's totally gonna la laugh at you. It's like catching a disease! It's not like that the... <laughs> well, okay, if I was on the fence about that episode, that scene would have, like... Yeah. Chapter 12, best day ever. They are doing the first episode of chapter... of, of uh, volume... Oh, God, we're gonna get a 2D food fight? Uh, I don't know whether to be... I know, excited no, I know or horrified. Excited. It would be really funny if the entire food fight was extremely over animated. Because <laughs> that's like like my all time favorite food fight scene like ever done anywhere. So I don't, I'm not interested for him to butcher that. I mean, it, it's really just like the, this episode really is just like everything kind of coming into place. Um, John's yeah. sword can just magically dissolve the nightmare like it, it touches and they just go away it's like john doesn't even need to swing or anything it's like okay i guess we established that it's not very interesting actually the, the, yeah the animation at the beginning of this episode was kind of weird it's a lot of weird yeah shit there. like like when she's going in for the punch and like it totally went kill a kill for a second there oh yeah that was that was yeah there there was a lot of shots that can be described as like, oh, it's just like that, you know? Yeah. Which, I mean, hey, it's Ruby. It's been derivative of fuck since the beginning. So, I mean... Uh, okay. Uh, All right. Someone explains to me, because I was not following. What was the reason Ruby's weapon was backwards? So she could shoot behind herself. Even though it, it didn't matter because she literally turned around as soon as she spotted... Yeah, the, I was going to say... 
I was it didn't say, matter at all. It like, didn't. Also, the shadow wouldn't be behind you if you weren't facing the light source. So it's like this is stupid. The, the, uh, that they they didn't. They JJ'd it and then they like ass pull JJ'd it. <laughs> like so J- they, so they JJ'd it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> y- 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't know why I added the extra. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, God, and it also pisses me off. For, it's not just that it's backwards, but it's also an automatic. Like oh, you, yeah, you yeah. see it firing an automatic, like. Yeah, I know it's right. Like it's more like pig. It's more like an an assault rifle than a barret. Well, yeah. In the in the red trailer, she does do that big spin and like fire a bunch of times. Uh, Yeah, but you presume that she's also speeding up her reloads because she can she can fire incredibly fast for a bolt action rifle. Like she is incredibly good with it. Like, but it's still a bolt action rifle. It was firing like a like a machine gun. Yeah. Also, Weiss just doesn't know anything about weapons. She yeah. bought her weapon from a store using Daddy's credit card. <laughs> uh, speaking of Daddy, her talking to, to frickin' Nicholas. Like, Nicholas being a positive role model in her life. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. That, like, For so I don't many think... different reasons. Pull, uh, I, uh, should I pull up the... Um... World of Remnant thing. See if see if they mention. I mean, World of Remnant hasn't been remnant. It hasn't relevant in. And they, 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 they never yes, give. but if I can prove something's not canon, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna say like they don't valid. give any kind of hard timeline on things typically in World no. of Remnant, so it could be more than anything. Yeah, but it, it's just so weird because like why? If Weiss had this male role model in her life. She would be respecting and following his rules over Jacques, I think. Maybe maybe it's uh, because it's her dream. It's like she wished she had had that kind of role model. Well, maybe that's it's... that's what I was saying. She Kylo ren this. It's the exact same thing that yeah. Kylo Ren did in, in uh, the uh, uh, the Rise of Skywalker, where mm. he, he talked to his dad. He talked to, uh, to Han Solo. But, mm-hmm. like, there's no trappings that indicate that it's a forced ghost or anything. So you can only presume that it's a hallucination brought on by his own mind to absolve him of all the horrible shit he's done in his life. <laughs> it's like, that's what this is. It's Weiss being like, what were they even talking about? I some, Like, this, the, the castle in your heart or something like My that? My joy in life comes from serving others, not from being a king. Yeah. It, it's her trying to teach herself a... A, a a moral lesson of like I I should be a good person maybe is that your heart build the grandest most noble castle you can build it together with friends you will uh, one day meet you see if that were legitimately formative this seems like a formative moment for her why would none of it translate like was Jock just that oppressive to her as a child I mean I can understand that but I can also understand like she wouldn't have any respect for Jock at all. She would have no reverence. She would always be following Nicholas. But she she goes to bat for her dad a couple of times in the series. It feels like th- this wouldn't occur if that was the case. Yeah. I So I, I went and I checked out that World Remnant. Um, they didn't say that Nicholas died, but they showed him, like, he got, like, crippled by, like, side effects of working in dust mines. Uh... So and you know they showed him all like you know crippled and decrepit before uh, Jacques married uh, Weiss's mom. Oh, so he would have, like been in a wheelchair or that kind of thing, or I guess he. I mean, he didn't. He didn't look healthy. Like they they kind of made the point that he wasn't in good health when Jacques and uh, Will- Willow is that her name. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well. Got married. How do you? How do you of all people forget a milf's name? I <laughs> be, because people were calling her Willow before we knew her name, and I forgot yeah. if that was the actual. It, uh, if, that's, like that's people true. had just called that right, or if I was like using the old fanon name when we know the canon one. Yeah, that's I true. See. Yeah. yeah. Um. It, so basically, what the scene actually was, it was actually in like a hospital room, and he was like, "Why is?" Built castle. 
castle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Granddad. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Yep. Yeah, all right. So John picks up his sword and the 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 Weisses and and Pura help him lift it. And it's big and exciting cuz he can oh John gets to wield his sword. Yay. Um ah, sure. And then that ends up freeing the jock that wants to play with his family and then he explodes. Symbolism. I guess. I mean, not that it matters. I mean, like he's dead, so like, why, why, why bother with that? Relation. Okay, so <laughs> actually, I I have to go back to this Nicholas thing because obviously, Big Nicholas, that was the person that she was serving through this entire thing. Like right. he was this massive statue, overbearing, this massive overbearing force in this entire dreamscape of hers. Clearly, a massive monumental source of control and 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 uh, uh, of control and order in her mind. Why does she behave the way that she does towards anyone? If his formative advice to her is build good friendships and relationships. Like, this adds up to absolutely nothing of what we know about Weiss. Because, like, you would think that the actual overbearing thing about it would be Jacques. Now, you could have done something interesting in here if maybe she had this, like, very inflated opinion of her of her grandfather. And, like, you challenge it with some of the more controversial things that he did. And maybe she learns to love him despite his flaws. And maybe not forgive his flaws, but work towards trying to correct some of them. Like, his treatment towards Faunus and the like. Like, you, you could have had something there. But instead, what we got is, make tons of friends at school, honey. <laughs> <laughs> what was the it's, symbolism? It oh, It's no. weird. It's bizarre. I don't... Like, I, I don't know why... They're doing that. It's, it's so. F- ah, <laughs> what does it all mean? <laughs> the what, numbers. What, Mason, what, what do the numbers mean, mean Mason? Mason. It, it's like I. I feel like they tried to pull some like, um, uh, meaning out of it, but they didn't set any of that up. This episode feels the most like. Oh shit, we have to wrap everything up in a nice little bow at the very end. <laughs> yeah, and, and then they literally have to drag Weiss, oh, sorry, Blake out of herself to have the final boss fight with Blake. That well, did felt the... really weird. No. It's like, oh, we have an anti racism subplot. Let's make the final boss an, uh, an evil. Faunus rights. A, an evil Faunus rights yeah. advocate. Like, Guys, if we work together, we can defeat unionization. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I mean, with, with, with Adam, like, there's a lot of different routes to go. But Blake is, like, clearly, she she has the right motive and she, she learns the right methods. And it's like, you're making her the villain somehow? I guess the darker side of her? It's, just, it's a really weird kind of mixed message with this. I don't know how to say it otherwise. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's... It's it's pretty bad. <laughs> I, I I do like the transition where she like, no, actually I don't. Never mind. I I was like going back to the atom, the flaming atom inside of her heart that she breaks through. But like, I thought she reached through him and then out of her own body. No, she just kind of like floats through him and he explodes into like fire. And it's like that's really weird. We have our bees moment, and then the animation gets like bearable, for. Yeah, for like see, five like that's minutes. what um, that's what Sakuga should look like. You know, it should look like oh, they spent a lot of time and a lot of effort on this shot. Maybe it doesn't look the same, or it doesn't look like it came from the same show. But in this show's case, that's a good thing. I, I was gonna say like I I still I still think this is over animated in places, and I I think like it being aesthetically distinct from the rest of the animation like that, that's why it worked and i think some places it didn't look aesthetically distinct and then in other places it had that weird shininess where they added like another layer of compositing yeah it's definitely shiny like yeah, i like that that's where i'm like 
that okay there, there's a great moment where at um negative 741 or 1609 whichever where it's like evil blake is launching forward and everyone is fighting and it they don't do the over glossiness they don't do that and it works perfectly it looks it, yeah it looks better when they don't do the stupid shiny things yeah it's like i don't know why you did the stupid shiny thing stop doing the stupid shiny thing it doesn't look very good and like everything like after that whenever it's just like the not shiny stuff and it's like the flat colors the, or the the whatever the i don't know what you call it flat or not but like whatever you call it this like whatever they normally do it works way better because it's a fabric it's not supposed to be shiny <laughs> That is a kind of a sick move where Ruby uses her snowboard to propel herself off Weiss's attack. That, that's pretty sick. Why is the rock shiny? <laughs> because... You, you go up to, like, you go up to, like, negative seven... Uh, don't talk 19. about Dwayne Johnson's hair loss like that. I know. <laughs> I was about to say. But like, yeah, like, at, like, 1636, like, Blake breaks a piece of rock off a wall and throws it at Ruby, and Ruby flies up to cut it, and it's shiny! It's like, why is a rock shiny? It shouldn't be. This is over compositing. <laughs> like, look at look uh, at this. Why is it shiny? <laughs> uh, she throwing marble at Ruby? Brown marble? It's hit or miss when like they do the compositing stuff. I find it like it really loses track of my eye and it looks disjointed to the rest of the aesthetic. But when it, it, it it's not, with the exception of maybe. This is a very far shot, maybe, because we just talked about the Blu-ray thing. In the Blu-ray, if their final compositing for the entire show is going to be that kind of shininess... No, it's going to be so much worse. It would be so much worse, but it would make more sense that, like, this is what the most final product is going to look like. Ugh. I hope they don't. Yeah. I'm not going to care, because I'm not going to watch the show again after this. Uh, yeah, true. <laughs> but... I hope for everyone else's sake they don't. And who knows? The Blu-ray might come out before the dub. <laughs> <laughs> when it, I, have, they still have not released a release, dub, a release date for that dub yet, huh? They haven't. Oh, and of course, like, the final shot of the fight is literally just the characters attacking the screen. God, that is so underwhelming. I, like, I understood why it took so long at first, but, like, I don't understand why it's taking so long now. Because it turns out it's hard, Tom. <laughs> it's like, Dumb no account. shit. You guys literally have your BFFs with Crunchyroll. Like, you know people from Fun people from Funimation crossbreed with your fucking company. Like, God, yeah. Just, uh. oh God, there's that, like, then the shadow appears. I'm sorry, I'm going through this fight like I'm, like, I'm coping through it. The shadow, like, appears and it's like, okay, Yang's shooting at it fine. But it's like they're all just standing there firing ranged attacks at it. And it's just really awkward. Yeah, yeah. it is. So instead of watching episode 12, uh, this is a little peek behind the curtain. We should just watch uh, all of High Guardian's Spice in one sitting. <laughs> 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 and release that, but call it the Ruby episode 12 reaction. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh. And then, like, literally the wrap-up doesn't have much beyond Weiss having her little breakdown. Like, there's no... Which Actually, is I... a terrible breakdown. Oh, it, like, undercuts yeah. everything. Yeah. It's like... It, I mean, okay, I, I, don't, I don't necessarily want to say it undercuts everything. I think that's the wrong word. But I can't think of a different phrase for it. She has this whole thing where she's, like, coming to... You know, she's, like, coming to terms with the fact that, like, in her mind somewhere, there is this, like authoritarian uh like mentality somewhere in the recesses of her mind and then her reaction to that is like embarrassment that she got y y attacked by a monster yeah she doesn't even remember it, it's like on her why own board is she embarrassed <clears throat> she like embarrassment not embarrassment that she has this darkness inside her. Embarrassment that she, like, got physically attacked. Yeah, it's like embarrassment that you fell victim to a Grim that's main strength is stealth. It's like, yeah. what is our It's like, you're not sorry you did the crime, you're sorry you got caught. Yeah. 
She's not even sorry she got caught. She she's sorry that like someone stepped into the crime and punched her in the face. <laughs> yeah, she's she's sorry that she survived it. Like uh. I I don't know what message they're sending. Like okay, she's maybe she's more emotionally vulnerable. Like that's what they're trying to signal. But she was already like that. We yeah. saw that in episode three where she was crying to the sky. Where she was like crying to herself, and we were all like, "That's very unwise." Like. And yeah. it was very unwise like and it's still very unwise like Yeah, didn't didn't the guy who write this have like allegations of like beating his wife? Oh, did he? Yeah, To to Ubikata has, has some allegations yeah. against him. Now, Yikes. unproven, I but I meant like <laughs> Yeah. I, uh, I, may, maybe like this is what he thinks of women. Oh. Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to go that far. I don't want to try and lay judgment on him beyond his writing just being generally not that great. I don't want to lay judgment on him besides his overuse of the word judgment. <laughs> uh, Fair. Uh, uh, Fair. All right. All right. So, all right. Before before we do any kind of rap, we, the, the elephant in the room. Motherfucking Silver Eyes. Oh, yeah. Fuck. I completely forgot about fuck? that. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Does Ruby remember? Does Ruby remember shooting lasers out of her eyes to kill the thing inside of Weiss? You would think you know, that at some point that might just come up. If, because uh, this, 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 this was before volume three, so she wouldn't even know she could do that. <laughs> here, 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 here comes the conversation. It's like, okay, so what happened in there? Well, we did this, we did this, we did this. And then finally, I rushed into the, 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 the auditorium where the, where the nightmare was and I fought it. And then it strung me up like I was in a hentai. And then, <laughs> and, and then what happened? Well, there was this bright white flash and I think something <laughs> burned from my eyes and it died it's like huh i wonder what that is i uh, wonder too strange isn't it let's never talk about this again oh <laughs> it's just uh, it, uh, uh, what, what's even worse? okay okay they have episode 12 to explore that maybe she starts questioning this shit but it already derails canonicity yeah yeah and, and not only does it derail canonicity it makes no sense for the show Anyone that's joining Ruby for the first time with the show are going to be confused as fuck what the hell that was. <laughs> oh, boy. We barely uh. got the Silver Eyes line from Ospin. We barely got that scene. <laughs> fuck, that's the only reason they showed it. <laughs> so I was keeping track. The only reason they showed certain scenes during the actual recap was things that were directly relevant to the show, which makes some modicum of sense. But the yeah. way they went about it made it, like, disjointed and weird as opposed to anything smooth and memorable. It's like, you could have done it so, so much better. They, they found a way. I, I just, I, if we're going, why why would they even bring it? Why? Why? why just, just why? Like, why would they, why would they do that to themselves? Unless they were going to, like, because, because Ruby's memory isn't wiped. She remembers everything. Yeah, we, we we were joking about the memory wipe. No one lost their memories here. It's like there's no weird. Well, Weiss, well, Weiss, ca- going well, Weiss doesn't really remember what she did. But you're but, right. Maybe, maybe she, you're right. She might not. Yeah, but but Ruby. Ruby. Yeah. When no, Weiss was not. possessed by the nightmare, she didn't remember. But Ruby remembered the conversation she had with Weiss when she was possessed by the nightmare. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> also, 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 first time using Silver Eyes doesn't knock her on her ass. I mean, I know they're in a dream, but still, what the fuck? No, the eyes were still going out in the real world. We saw it behind the yeah. behind the blindfold. So, like, it should we not did? run. Yes. Hold yeah, on, yeah, we did. Yeah, 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 we did. I, I just don't understand why they... Um, um, if if they, they put that in there, but they're not even going to, like... They, they, they just throw it in there just to throw it in there. Like, what what the fuck? Oh, Christ. This is... That was a, that was a big fucking... Okay, hey. Hey, RT... Where the fuck is your supervision on this one? Yeah, yeah what, what, like, they, they had, did you, did they sign off on that? If so, do, do, do you actually okay. see the silver eyes behind the thing at 1156? It's, 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 kind of faint, it's kind of faint just because Ruby's skin is so pale. Yeah, okay, but. compare, compare her and Yang in this shot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, all right, this is, yeah, her, her eyes were glowing. 
And you know what? Most important question out of this entire fucking series, why, oh why, haven't you put these mini little crocheted versions of these characters in the fucking merch store? <laughs> put it on and push it on. Stop that adorable. I want a crocheted ro- ruby. I think that's cute. Yeah. Slap, slap mini we- those mini weisses on a t-shirt, man. Mini weiss plushie. It's all we need. Yes. Sell them in packs of 10. And sell them in <laughs> packs of 10. That'd be amazing. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but yeah, this episode. Jesus. I don't know what to think of it. Like, the more and more I, like, break it down, the more and more it's, like... Because yeah. we're, we're at the point where we're pretty clear on what the, the synthesis of this series is. And what I got from the synthesis of this series is this series makes no fucking sense. No. I, and like, it's, no. like, I, I was... At the beginning, it's, like, oh, you have these dream things. You can explore some deeper meaning. We haven't explored shit about any of these characters. It has been safe and, shit. No, to be fair, time. we did get we did explore some voice stuff. A little we, bit. Yeah. Y- yeah. The, the those two episodes we really liked. I forgot what numbers they were, but like those two episodes we really liked. Th- that was a good exploration of Weiss. Her were- locking away her inner child and her like associations with everyone that she thinks is like yeah, sillier that, than her. Uh, my 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 biggest issue is like mostly everything really plot relevant. That is like the the big Nicholas. Like everything well, revolving Ruby. around that, it makes no <laughs> sense whatsoever. Can't forget that it's that it's that it's still Ruby. We gotta kind of contend with. We gotta contend with that. Like my problem is that this is happening like in Volume One territory. Volume One, like, Volume these, Two, yeah. These characters don't know each other. I was gonna say if this happened after Volume Two. I actually think it'd be really, it, it might actually work. Or like I said, I, I just, I keep coming back to just make it deeper into the school year between volume one and volume two, where it's like, oh, a, you know, a month or two into the first semester, these characters are getting to know each other. You're, you're establishing them as they are that we haven't in a way that we haven't seen them. Like volume one has come and passed. We are now like, we are now in this area of time that we completely skip over in the actual main show. Why didn't you just go with that and show us, like, an everyday life at Beacon before all this? The reason why is they wanted to bring shit like Silver Eyes in. And even then, I, they did a piss-poor job because even the main show did a piss-poor job of foreshadowing that. I don't know. I, I, I think this, you know, using the Silver Eyes to try to rescue Weiss is a better use of Silver Eyes than using the Silver Eyes to try to avenge Pyrrha. Because of that thing that uh, oh yeah, no, that's says, fair. That's fair, actually. That she's like, oh, yeah. you got to use it to protect life, not to avenge your your dead uh, uh, person that you talked to maybe once. <laughs> yeah, I I, mm, I I it just goes back to what I asked at the beginning. Like, what what is the point of this show? Like, why 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 do we need this? What what like. I mean, I, we, I guess Weiss is our lives racist have, now. Is what, Weiss what less our, racist now? Would, would our lives have been any different had this show never come to be? We would like, not have had Tiny Weiss. <laughs> that is... Ye, that's it. Oh, she oh, uh, Nora and Earmuffs. Nora and Earmuffs. Uh, you dying in your sleep. <laughs> Couldn't yeah. happen. Wouldn't happen to me. Oh, I um. I mean, I want to die peacefully in my sleep, like my grandfather, and not panicking like his passengers. <laughs> 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 oh God! Oh, on that note, um, I think we've raged all we can about this. Yeah, uh, yeah, and the rage last uh, last week was pure. Because yes. the episode was a pile of shit. Yes. The rage this week is sad because the episode didn't have to be this bad. There no. was good stuff in here, and if they had leaned into the good stuff more than like undermining it with, by like piling bad stuff on top of it, it would have been a much better experience. Yeah, yeah, really. I, that's what it comes down to. Yeah, I, I do. I mean, I, I completely agree. But like, just hearing you say that just reminds me of that one line from Fairly Odd Parents, where it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I mean, uh, of co- isn't isn't that just the truth? <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, thank you all so much for joining us. We hope you've had a good time, and we're all looking forward to episode twelve. Best day ever! Yay! Yeah. Um, Remember that if you like this content and want to support content like it, hit that like button, ring that bell, and be sure to share this video everywhere. Uh, Ooh. just because, like, you know, maybe someone will like it. I don't know. It's your call. Uh, yeah. Um, and, uh, um, if you, if you want to support me getting my internet back, <laughs> um, <laughs> you could go to my Patreon. <laughs> Well, I haven't even gotten to the Patreon reads yet. Yes, you can support <laughs> us all, all three of us, through our individual Patreons for $1 yep. or more. For that, you get access to the Team Frostbite Discord server, where I, Fat Man Tom, and a whole host of other people from around the Ruby community are regularly active. Uh, you can join us for cool community events, like a weekly reading of Bad Fan Fiction Night, which I believe this week will be officially switching over to Saturday nights. So, uh, yes, you can come over and join us there it's very exciting additionally me and tom both have yes. our own individual books there are links in the description down below as to where you can access them tom has a whole host of places and i and i've I, and i've just discovered that barnes and noble is selling the book just not through their physical stores but through their website excellent good so you can pick nice. so you can go on the line and pick a book and uh mine is uh the artificer exclusively on Amazon, um, both in digital and print. And mine is Kent. Yes, his is Kent. Didn't even say the name there. Yeah. Yes. So. And I think that's everything. Anything else, sad gentlemen? Uh, no, no. Uh, just, no, no. Just, okay. Hopefully, hopefully, it, hopefully, hopefully, episode nine will be out before this one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hopefully, here's hoping. Yeah. All right, everyone. I have, I have like one kilobyte of upload speed, so um, I'll uh, I'll be doing that <laughs> as soon as we close this recording out. <laughs> Alrighty, all right, everyone, <laughs> big mechalus. <laughs> Goodbye. See ya. <laughs>